little flavor and color to your next dish. Corn relish can give you give your next meal the pop of flavor that it needs. Greg here from Stratford is joining us this morning to explain uh, just how easy or not it is to do corn relish. Quite easy. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a relish, so you have sort of a high sweet, very little sour connotation to it, or a okay. high sour, very little sweet mm -hmm. kind of flavor. And whatever works for your, with all the grilling going on, it's a perfect yes. accompaniment to your grilled chicken rather than slathering it in sauce. Okay. Take a slightly little more healthy route to it. I think we grill it. every, my husband's on the grill yeah. every day. And summertime, it's... everybody is. It's, it's amazing. Okay. So we're going to put a little oil in our pan. Okay. And then we have some peppers and onions already cooked here. You can put that in there Ooh, for voila. me if you want. Okay. I'm just going to let that cook down. Okay. Then we have some... It doesn't take long for the flavors, the smell, the aroma. Not at all. That was quick. And we're going to take a little salt, mm -hmm. just a smidge. We want to help the uh, vegetables start giving off their water. Okay. And the salt will do that? Yes, it will. It will help pull all that moisture out of that. Okay. Then we're going to take a little you can... You said a smidgen. That was very... It, was a, it was a that smidge. Wasn't, yeah. It was a pinch. That wasn't a lot at Nothing all. Nothing much. The, okay. A little goes a long way. We're going to take a little bit of our canned corn here. Mm -hmm. I like canned corn. It's a lot sweeter. Okay. And it's already cooked, so it's not much cooking to it. Do you just pour it in just like that, or did you drain it first? I did drain it. Okay. And if you want to, you can keep the liquid in there. Okay. Um, some people do, some people don't. It's completely um, their choice. We're going to throw in a little chopped garlic. I was wondering what that just, was. Just a little chopped garlic. Okay. Not, not a lot. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's the joke. Yeah, I was going to say, not a lot as okay. you continue to... That's right. <laughs> So then we throw in some vinegar, and I just use white vinegar. You can use cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, okay. whatever flavors you wish. Rice wine vinegar is very catchy because a lot of people like to do the whole Asian mm -hmm. twist, that kind of thing. Then I like we that. We throw a that. little sugar in. Now and you then, definitely use more sugar than you did salt for sure. <laughs> well, we wanted that sweetness to counteract the sourness of the vinegar. Okay. And then once that goes, we just let that get all nice and cooked down and get the vegetables soft, and then uh -huh. we have corn relish. Just that simple. Quite easy. What did it take us? 30 seconds to a minute? Yeah, that didn't take something. long at all. Correct. So what do you, you can put that on chicken and what else you think? Chicken, beef, pork, you name it. Whatever anything you can put you, on a grill. Anything that you can grill, <laughs> it goes there. And then you don't have to limit yourself to that. We have a nice colorful range here, but you can throw in all types of peppers. You can do okay. all sorts of uh, other types of vegetables. It doesn't have to be corn. You know, uh, you can do cucumbers, you can do Can you a just variety. eat that as a side by yes. itself? Forget by putting it on something. Exactly. That's a meal. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a meal in and of itself. All right. But that's Great. what we have here. Nice, quick, nice, easy, and quite affordable. We, we like all of those things. Yes, Perfect. If you want to learn more, you can log on to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash morning.